Hard crew. Today we're gonna to talk about everything we bought for the Barbie car, total it all up so you guys know exactly how much we spent. And honestly, we're pretty curious on what we spent too, so let's get started. This episode is brought to you by Skillshare, home to thousands of classes that teach you a new life skill. The first 500 of you guys that sign up using the link in the description will receive two months of premium free. So click that link and learn something new. So the first step of the process for me was actually getting the Power Wheels toy because everything else basically doesn't matter until I know what size everything needs to be. And I chose the pink Mustang because out of all the Barbie cars, I thought that it was the most pink and the most ridiculous, which obviously a big part of the Barbie car, the whole point is to be ridiculous. So. I was tracking them down. They're actually pretty expensive. Like used, they go for 200 bucks easily. Some of them 250 and they're only 300 new. I found a guy from Spokane that had one and offered him 65 bucks and he took it. So that was the Barbie shell. The next step was actually buying the go-kart. I was trying to price out parts individually, all the steering components, axles, wheels, tires, and it just added up super quick. So the obvious choice ended up being buying a used go-kart. So I found one locally on Facebook Marketplace, offered them 250 bucks, and then got this monstrosity, <laughs> just custom made blue frame, um, motorcycle engine that was really old, tired, and not running well and that's really how things got started. The first day we just got the go-kart running and then realized the engine in it was not gonna work. It was uh, underpowered, old, it smoked. It was way too heavy and way too big to fit in this tiny little body. Um, so we talked about different options. Uh, I kind of wanted to stuff a snowmobile in engine into it just to be stupid, but that would have been more complicated in a lot of ways and way too big. So in the end, we settled on uh, destroying my more or less perfectly good dirt bike. That was a big cost that we would have had to spend if we wanted to buy an engine and didn't already have uh, the dirt bike to steal it from. And I would estimate from looking on Craigslist that you could get a similar engine or a dirt bike with a similar engine for maybe 500 bucks or so if you shopped around or if you went on eBay and went the Chinese route, it's about 500 bucks for a comparable engine. So we'll say the engine would cost $500 if you bought it. We bought the gold spray paint for the gas tank and the original wheels and the frame of the Barbie car because it just looked bling bling and that's where we wanted to go. Then I bought the tan spray paint for the seat so it kind of matched the interior of the car and that ended up being a really nice touch. And then we got the matte black for the flares as well. So we ended up spending about 20 bucks on spray paint. And then the flares are from $5 buckets at Walmart. I bought two of them, so that totals $10. So at this point, the Barbie car was running well, looking good. The next obvious choice was lights. So we spent 10 bucks on the headlights, 15 bucks on the tail lights, and then 30 bucks on the underglow. In the underglow, we really haven't included in a video, but we have all these different colors and modes. It can flash, it can dance, and we just keep it on pink because that's the coolest. So we got a strip of underglow underneath this side, this side, and the tail. Once we got it running and driving, um, we initially used the air filter off of the old engine that came with the go-kart and it was not big enough, it was terrible. So we got this air filter off the internet for about 15 bucks. And then um, once it was time for a muffler, we ordered this just universal motorcycle sort of muffler thing for about 30 bucks. Basically it just looks cool. Um, <laughs> and then um, there were also some little odds and ends like uh, the crankcase breather air filter just a little tiny filter that was like ten dollars and then um brake line 
and fuel line and the fittings and stuff associated with that, probably about $20. Oh, the Barbie sticker. How much did that cost? <laughs> <laughs> the Barbie sticker was a ground score on eBay. It was like six bucks. Yeah, and then all the other stuff really to put it all together was just scraps of metal or chain or whatever I had laying around my shop or stuff we stole from my dirt bike or, oh, a bunch of zip ties. I bet we used $5 in zip ties on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add that to the list. So our next big purchase wasn't really necessary, but the first time I drove the Barbie car, I completely rolled it and bent the rear axle, so we had to buy another one of those, and that was $60. <laughs> okay, when you hit the brakes, you die. So before we decided to turbocharge a Barbie car, just all costs spent to that point was $546 or 1,046 if you include the cost of the motorcycle of what we think that would cost. So that's pretty dang good. We had a lot of fun for 500 bucks. <laughs> now when we decided to turbocharge Barbie, things got a little more expensive. So basically, as soon as we started talking about the possibility of turbocharging the Barbie car, um, I made a uh, eBay shopping cart with all the things I thought we might need. So that included a uh, $160 turbo, which was the cheapest and smallest turbo I could find on eBay, an oil cooler that was about $30, a $70 uh, oil scavenge pump, which ended up not working. So then I ordered another oil pump, which was just like a little cheap, plastic transfer pump that actually worked just fine, and that one was only $25. Um, and then once we got it, uh, we had to do a few other little things, like I had to get a custom uh, oil line made and spent way too much on that, it was $40. And then, um, you know, some oil to run through it, another 10 bucks. Um, and that was really about all the costs for the turbo kit. So once we knew the turbo was gonna work, by that time, the wheels and tires from the old go-kart sucked from the get-go, but they were getting really bad and really burnt up from all the North Idaho dyno tuning we were doing. <laughs> so we went to BMI Carts and got new tires all the way around, new wheels, um, the new hubs, and tie rods for $304.50. And that's everything we spent on the build. So that totals $1,175.50. So not too bad considering how much fun we've had, that's for sure. And then add the other 500 to that if we had to actually buy the engine. So that's how much Barbie cost. Once again, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that has over 21,000 courses to choose from. Ethan and I are taking the How to Sketch, Design, and Draw Cars Like a Pro by Kaiwin Fawn. Thanks to this course, we are better able to communicate ideas to each other and see how things look before we actually spend the time to build it. So like we said at the beginning of the video, the first 500 of you guys to click the link at the top of the description get a Skillshare premium account for free for two months. So check it out and start learning something new. You! You! <laughs> <laughs>